Today I'm checking out a new location. Uh, the main feature here is this quite nice wooden bridge behind me. Not sure if it opens itself up to much in the way of images, but maybe we'll have a go a bit later on. But before that, I want to have a little walk around, see if there's anything else I can shoot this afternoon. This bridge goes over the Segura River. So, you know, there might be something else around here to do. We'll have a look and see. I hope you'll enjoy the video. If you do, and you're new here, don't forget to hit subscribe before you go. Hi everyone, thanks for joining me. So today I've come out to Guatemala del Segura, on the Segura River, near the coast, but not on the coast at the moment. And uh, the main thing I wanted to check out was this wooden bridge that uh, crosses the river here. Uh, got to do a quick thank you to my neighbor, Bob, who gave me the location of this bridge, as well as another similar bridge in another town, which I'll be checking out in another video at some point in the future. The surroundings of this bridge perhaps don't lend it themselves particularly well to photography, but you never know, we might be able to do something with it. But I also wanted to have a look around because the river here is, is quite a lot sort of broader and more open than it is nearer to home where I've been my last few trips. So uh, yeah, I thought I'd have a little wander around, see what I can find to shoot. It's another daytime afternoon shoot that will probably, but not definitely mean I'll be going black and white, but as always, it depends on what I find to shoot. Anyway, I'm going to have a wander around, see what I can find, and uh, see what I can photograph. Uh, and it's actually a very pleasant walk. Uh, it's a bit windy today actually, but that's not too bad because it's also really quite warm. The river is quite nice. There's some nice views around, but there's nothing that I would call particularly photogenic along here. So I'm kind of making up my mind at the moment whether to uh, turn back from this particular part, head back towards the bridge and see what else there is to shoot. Okay, back to the bridge, and now I want to see what's down that way. An interesting looking building over there. I don't know what it is. It doesn't look like it's occupied, probably abandoned, but it also doesn't look too derelict if you see what I mean. Got some interesting shaped windows, almost like a Moorish style. There's a tree behind it. Obviously we've got reflections in the water. I think I'm going to try both a horizontal and a vertical and decide which one looks best afterwards because looking at the back of the camera I really can't decide. I'm leaning towards the vertical but we'll give it a go. Uh, I'm leaning towards the vertical because of the clouds as well, which kind of lead in quite nicely to it. I'm getting too much, I need to zoom in a little bit because I don't really want this tree in here. I also don't want to fall in the water. I'm not sure how solid the edge is. <laughs> can see a possible telephoto shot with a bit of sort of like palm frond hanging over the water and reflected in the water just to see if I can actually get it to angle up properly. I'm going to need 
to take my sunglasses off for this one. So I need to get down a bit lower or something, I think. That might work as a bit of a almost abstract shot. So I originally came here to check out this bridge and uh, it was mostly to see whether the bridge itself, the surroundings, the orientation would work well for a sunrise or a sunset and uh, honestly I don't think so. There's too much other stuff around here. And as I said earlier there is another bridge that my neighbour Bob told me about in another town which is similar to this but maybe in a better location for that kind of photography so i'm going to go and check that out maybe in the next few weeks but as i've come here i do want to get a shot of this bridge and my first thought would maybe to shoot straight through but there's all the buildings in the background uh, maybe shoot from that side or it looks like i can get down closer to the water down there and get a lower point of view on it which might work better to take out some of the background distractions so we'll have a little wander around and see I'm not loving it from that side. Straight ahead would be okay if it wasn't for all the buildings in the background because I think it needs to be a little bit more of a simple composition, a little bit more graphic to work, particularly with the conditions that we've got. kind of feel like there's more of an opportunity this way but still looks very cluttered in the background still lots of buildings in the background but maybe as a black and white okay I think I want to get try and get a lower view on this uh, I'm also hoping it's just going to get me out of the wind a little bit. It's getting quite breezy down here. Um, but there's a little uh, gap down there that I think I can clamber down and get down by the river. So I'll go and see what I can do. Really trying not to distress that bird. Sorry, ducky. Too low, too low down. I'm getting in some buildings in the background that I don't want. It's a duck up on the wall up there. and colours on this duck is beautiful around the eye. Gotta wait till it turns this way a bit to get light on its face.
come down around this side and there may be just an opportunity to get something maybe vertical and get a little bit of reflections in the foreground in the water rather but again the sun's gone behind a cloud and I, I need it to come back out again it's typical when you want the sunshine <laughs> you don't get it <laughs> I'll give it a few minutes Well, do you know what? I think I'm about done. Very pleasant afternoons, wander and photography, and hopefully a few images, some uh, sort of landscape-y style, some fine art style, and maybe a little bit of wildlife as well. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching, and until the next one, bye.